y'all welcome back to my channel wanted to get on here today and do a spring clean eating grocery haul the groceries that i get today i'm going to use a lot of those in an upcoming video of my favorite healthy recipes so i'm going to include those items down below in the description box in case you want to make those with me now it's not rocket science and they're easy i only do pretty easy in the kitchen so if you want to do some easy clean eating I'm gonna include that down below and I'm just gonna jump right into this and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, for snacks, always the Atkins bars. And I got this time the peanut caramel cluster bar. These are my favorites. They are also a Carol's favorites. She loves these, they're like a payday. And then I haven't had these in a while, the caramel double chocolate crunch bar. These are really good. They have a crunch, they have a chew. These are just really good. Okay, then I'm gonna show these together because I eat these together for breakfast, snacks, the planters pistachio mix i love this i bet i go through one big can of these every two weeks which is how often i grocery shop i grab a small handful of that and some craisins this is delicious sweet and salty it's a healthy snack well i consider it healthy i eat it for breakfast a lot if you get blood sugar drops in the morning a little handful of these is great and then this isn't groceries but i'm excited i don't remember whose channel i saw this on but I'm trying the Koki Lash Boosting Primer. So if I heard this on your channel, let me know. Or if you told me to pick it up, I'm excited about that. Okay, then I got my decaf, and this is Green Mountain. I usually get Maxwell House or Folgers. I think this was a substitution. Decaf keeps me from, you know, if I want a sweet treat, I will get decaf and put Cool Whip on it, or the spray whipped cream for a treat at night. I love that. It really saves me from eating sweets at night. It's a treat. Okay, then I got more. And y'all can see right into my pantry. It's messy, don't judge. <laughs> I got more Atkins and I wanted to show these specifically to you. These are my chocolate covered almonds. I grab these all the time. I buy about five of these every two weeks, these boxes, because you can just grab the packet and head out the door, whether it's to work, the gym, errands. These are my, probably my, <laughs> these are my Holy Grail Atkins snack. Okay, then easy protein that you don't really have to cook. I like the Deli Fresh Turkey Breast. I like to grab a little handful of this and put it in eggs for extra protein. Great. Or for a snack, I'll grab these, put some mayonnaise, if you don't like mayonnaise, you won't like that, and some bread and butter pickles. It is a sweet little treat. It's a little sugar, a little protein for a snack or a lettuce wrap with those. And then the Better Ball, these turkeys, I love these. Um, with mustard for snacks with a little handful of fruit of some kind of low sugar fruit or to throw on the grill for dinner to throw on top of a salad this is great this is great now it's processed but i clearly don't mind processed meat okay then low sugar fruit i got a couple of things of blueberries and i'll just grab a handful of these just here and there sometimes these go bad i need to be real aware of these low sugar fruit berries these won't mess with your blood sugar too much if I eat a lot of high sugar fruit like watermelon, I might as well be eating a candy bar. Now, it's better for me, but it makes me crave more sugar. And raspberries, I bought a ton of these. Like, I have a bag full of these. And then Laughing Cow Swiss Cheese. I eat these all the time. I keep about five of these. I put them on toast for some extra fat. I like to keep some good fat in my diet because um, it keeps me not hungry, it keeps me satisfied longer. I put these on toast. Sometimes I'll make a big bowl of veggies, like just frozen bird's eye veggies. Put two or three of these on it and just eat a little, you know, get a little bit of this and a little bit of the veggie. If I'm really trying to watch my calories, that is low calorie, some good fat, some good vegetables, throw a little meat in there, maybe 200 calories. And these are just little Swiss, Swiss, but they have flavor too. Okay, then I always keep the, I can't believe it's not better. There's a brand called Olivo, a little less expensive. They have off brands of this. Now this is a soy product. Don't really know much about soy. I've heard good and bad, but I use this in my veggies. I use it to cook with. On my toast, this is pretty much all I use. Okay, I got about five of these Caesar salads just to throw together for something different because I'm going to show you all my favorite salad. So I've got these as kind of an alternative to my kale super green salad, and I'm kind of excited about these. I haven't had a Caesar in a while. Okay, and then I got two things of mashed cauliflower frozen. This feeds my lazy side because making homemade cauliflower mashed potatoes is a pain. These are great, and these are great cauliflower mashed potatoes with gravy on them. Now, I know that's not the picture of health, 
but it's a nice, it's not that bad if you just put a little bit of gravy on them and then you, it really tastes like a mashed potato. Then for a different protein, I got meatballs. Sometimes when I'm just not feeling like cooking, I throw these in a pan, throw some sauce over them. If you make homemade sauce with the little package, McCormick, their spaghetti sauce is good. With these, eat like three or four of these with a salad for a little spice so that, you know, you get some flavor in your diet. So I have some meatballs for some, a different kind of protein. Then I got coleslaw and I got regular and a broccoli. I have a really good broccoli coleslaw, sweet and salty. It is delicious. It's so good. It will be in my recipe video and I'll post it here. It just adds the sweet to your meal. It's so good. I've had this in several videos. Then I got about five packages of just the bird's eye steam fresh, just to put those in the microwave and Sometimes this is all I'll eat for dinner. If I've gone overboard a day, you know, I'm really watching my calories and I just really want to get healthy, some healthy, I'll just make one of these and eat a whole bag of it for dinner. Put a few laughing cows in it. It's really delicious and a little clean meat, like chicken, and it makes, you know, it's a very satisfying dinner. Then I got a box of spinach, a container of spinach. It is my goal right here in front of all y'all to not let this go bad. More often than not, this goes bad, but I'm gonna try to do some green drinks. I'm not gonna call them smoothies. I might add a small handful of berries, but I can't really chop my fruit up because it enters my bloodstream too fast or something. Doesn't make me feel good. So I'm gonna do this with protein and maybe some of my super greens from Paleo Valley. And you know, just when I really feel like I want a good dose of the greens. So got my spinach. That's also really good in eggs, and you don't really taste it. If you don't like the taste of spinach, put it in some eggs. It's delicious. That's how I'm gonna eat that. Then I got a big bag of squash. I'll put my squash recipe at the end. You just cut it up in little circles. And put um, spray butter, parmesan, salt and pepper. Cook it till it's as dark as you want it. I cook it till it's like burned and eat it with ketchup like french fries. It's delicious. My kids love this. Then I got a bag of carrots because I'm gonna cook a roast. It's the only reason I really buy carrots. I don't grab these to just snack on. I should, but I don't. I'll pour this whole bag in some roast. Okay, I got light mayo and lemon juice. This is for my broccoli coleslaw. Um, the broccoli coleslaw, regular cabbage coleslaw, light mayonnaise, lemon juice, and then you can add a little handful of cranberries and some bacon. I usually do that by individual servings and just leave it kind of naked just with these. Put a little um, sweetener or sugar in it and it is so good. Okay, then I got two whole chickens. I'm going to throw one of these in a big pan of water and stew it and make chicken salad with it. I will eat that by the spoonfuls for just a protein snack. That is a great protein snack. And um, then the other one, I may roast it in the oven just for something super easy. Always looking for easy. Then these are my favorite chopped salads. And a lot of times I'll eat this instead of the broccoli coleslaw because I just dump one of these into a big bowl, pour Thousand Island dressing over it, not just a ton, and stir it up. And it's got a packet of cranberries and seeds in it. Just this and some meat cooked out. Simple, simple dinner. Very healthy, delicious. I got about six to eight of these, so I can have one almost every night. And I got some chicken tenderloins and I'm just gonna put this in the oven with some spices on it. In hindsight, I wish I'd gotten bigger chicken parts so I could put it, up, put it on the grill. But I got these little chicken tenderloins, so I'll just put this in the oven. I will still keep a pan of Mexican mess, a pot of it. Mexican mess or taco soup all summer long. I'm gonna have that in my simple meal ideas. I get maybe a spoon of that, which is kind of a wintry meal, but I eat it mostly with salad and just put that on top, mostly salad and just a little bit of that. It's so delicious. So I keep pinto beans, rotel, and little petite diced tomatoes for that. Then I got Parmesan. This is for my squash recipe. Hamburger meat for the taco soup or Mexican mess to go over our salad. Then I got a bag of apples and I'm gonna do some cooked apples. Even in the summer, I'll keep those because they're really like dessert. I also snack on these with the Laughing Cow cheese or a spoon of peanut butter, delicious. And I got a bag of fresh sweet potatoes so that I can um, pop those in the oven for meat that we cook out. And that is my Healthy Spring grocery haul. And I'm gonna follow this up with a meal idea video. And below, I'm gonna do a grocery list. So if y'all wanna do it with me, you'll know what groceries to get. If you enjoyed this video, if you did, please like and subscribe. Leave comments and questions down below and I'll talk to y'all soon. Y'all have a good day, bye.